In today's video, we are going to discuss the laws of indices. Let's begin with this. What is 2 exponent 3 times 2 exponent 4? Now, 2 exponent 3 means that we want to multiply 2 3 times. So it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 exponent 4, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How many 2's do we have? Let's count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 2's. So 2 exponent 3 times 2 exponent 4 is 2 exponent 7. Now, what it basically means is that if you want to multiply common bases, then you want to add the exponent. So 2 exponent 3 times 2 exponent 4 is 2 exponent 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. So it's equal to 2 exponent 7, which is equal to 128. Now, how can you divide 3 exponent 5 by 3 exponent 2? Now, 3 exponent 5 means that you want to multiply 3 5 times. So it's equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 divided by 3 times 3 because we have 3 exponent 2. Now, these 3's are going to cancel these 3's. So we have 3 times 3 times 3. Now, 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 3 to the third power, which is equal to 27. So if you want to divide common bases, then you want to subtract the exponents. So 3 exponent 5 divided by 3 exponent 2 is 3 exponent 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3, so it's equal to 3 exponent 3. So how do we go about this? If you have x squared exponent 3, now x squared exponent 3 means that we want to multiply x squared 3 times. So it is the same as x squared times x squared times x squared. So we have 3 x squared. Now x squared is the same as x times x. So we can write it in this form. Now, how many x's do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6x. Now what this primarily means is that if you want to raise an exponent to the power, then you simply need to multiply them. So x squared exponent 3 means that you have x squared times 3 or x exponent 2 times 3 which is equal to x exponent 6. Notice that any non-zero number raised to the power 0 is 1. So a exponent 0 is 1, 2 exponent 0 is 1, and then 3 exponent 0 is also 1. So now let's solve some examples. So we have some examples here. Let's try to solve them. Now, in the first example, we have a exponent 5 times a exponent 2 divided by a exponent 4. So we have a exponent 5 plus 2 because we are going to multiply. So we add 2. And then because we are going to divide, we need to subtract 4. Now, 5 plus 2 is 7 and 7 minus 4 is 3 so it's going to be a exponent 3 so this is the answer now let's move to the second one we have a exponent 2 times b exponent 3 or in a bracket squared so we need to distribute the exponent across so it's going to be 
a exponent 2 times 2 times b exponent 3 times 2 now a exponent 2 times 2 is equal to a exponent 4 and then 3 times 2 is 6 so it's going to be times b exponent 6 now moving ahead to the third question we have 4x squared and then y cubed times 2x exponent 6 times y exponent negative 8 now don't forget that 4 is equal to 2 exponent 2 so we can have 2 exponent 2 and then x exponent 2 and y exponent 3 times 2 x exponent 6 and then y exponent negative 8 now 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent 1 is 2 exponent 2 plus 1 and then we have x exponent 2 times x exponent 6 which is x exponent 2 plus 6 and then times y exponent 3 minus 8 Now, 2 exponent 2 plus 1 is 2 exponent 3, which is equal to 8. Okay, so we have 8 here. And then x exponent 2 plus 6 is x exponent 8. And then y exponent 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Okay, so we have y exponent negative 5. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.